Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're going to do a Farming Simulator 22 series in No Man's Land. For the third time, we're going to try to do a No Man's Land. We tried an FS19, didn't get very far. We tried an FS22 and realized I didn't really care for the multiplayer aspect of trying to maintain other people's businesses. I will do that if and only if people make requests to do so. Otherwise, I am going to spend my money on building a farm as much as possible um, that has its own self-sufficient productions um, that we could then sell to here for now. Um, maybe we will open up other businesses ourselves as we expand, but other people can set up and they can tell me what they want to invest in um, and let me know what to build. But in the meantime, we are going to get started. So, we already went and bought some farm. We bought the two plots closest by. Um, I was thinking about doing this here, but since I did a uh, not new farmer mode, but I did... Um, uh, the middle tier one where they give you money, but you no know, loans and nothing. I thought about using this property, but I always use this property, and everyone uses this property. Yes, there's a field already, and yes, it's got stuff to cut down. I figured we could use these areas. We have a logging area if we want to do it. We have open field areas for what we want to do, and then maybe building a city area over here. So, enough to keep us busy. So, with that being said... We do need something to get around on in this game. Um, in the past, I've used a multi-machine, like a John Deere Gator, so we might look at that. So let's go to the store and see what we could find. Oh, that's, the, that's not the dealer, that's the repair. Over here's the dealer. Oh, there's a lady here. I don't remember there ever being a lady here before, but there's a lady here now. All right, so we are going to look at machines to get around in. So we have a couple options. Hope that is not the right one. We could use some John Deere machines like we had in the past. We can get a truck. We can get other John Deere machines. We can get more trucks, and we can get just a plain old lizard. Uh, this is going to be cool to use. The question is, is how much customization? Because I'd like it to have some use to us. You know, even if it's to tow small things back and forth or you get a spreader on the back. Oh, that's handlebars. I don't really care for looking at handlebars. Let's see. What? That's weird. A roof on it. A little strange. It looks like some form of back attack chair of some kind. Engine setup. Bigger engines, I guess. Even though it doesn't do anything to... Whatever. Okay. Fuel brands. Colors. We could customize it. So there's not much we could do with this. Just different customizations. This may be something we end up getting just for basic transport around the farm. But I don't think that's what we're going to use right now. Hmm. I don't want to just keep on going with the same thing, but I think we might just have to because it's just such a good and versatile machine. Um, and we can get with the extra tires. So let's do that. We get some weights on the front if we wanted it. Just bumper, frames, a hitch on the front, which is a little weird. With bumpers, weights on the front. I think we'll just, we can always put weights on it later, so for right now let's just do like a utility hitch with a bumper, it's kind of cool. Now we'll just do a hitch, because you know, you never know if we need to grab onto something to move something out of the way. Big old John Deere tires, Michelin tires, I have these Nokian tires, they're really cool, Trelleborgs, we're going to go with the Nokians. And then, wheel setup, communal, okay, whatever, model. We have, oh, we have a cab closed with lights, open with lights. And we don't need to get all the coverage on things, so we're just going to go with a basic open cab, I think. Beacons are not necessary. Additional lights, we're okay. We're going to go a little bare bones. We're just going to go with the bigger machine, the bigger engine. And then, this is in Chuck Thunder style, we like to do black and yellow. Yeah, I think that way because we can't do black body, so. Let's 
probably how we're going to do that. Alright, we'll buy that. And we don't know what kind of top we're going to need, but we're going to want to be able to get something to go with it. So where are we going to find that? What's, what's on sale too? Ooh, a nice, a nice cedar that does fertilizer and seed. Ugh, I think we might have to get this guy. So we need a tractor that has 210 horsepower. So that's important. So let's see, make that one of our more important things to do here. Medium tractors, they sometimes go to 210. Yeah, sometimes, like that one does. Some of these are nice mods too. A yellow tractor, black and yellow tractor. Fast track is pretty cool. Uh, we may just do this JCB because this is a pretty cool looking machine, 230 horsepower. It's a bit expensive, but we got the money and we get a good versatile machine early on. Maybe that's what we go with. Get a Hauer front, a Quickie front, or nothing. We'll go with the Quickie. Uh, we're gonna want GPS on it. I've never used GPS, but we're gonna try it out. Wheels, we're gonna do narrow tires because those are preferable in most cases. And tractor tires, we're gonna use these Nokians because I love those Nokians. That may be what we go with right there. He's got a three point in the back. Yeah, this guy should be able to do everything. Yeah, 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 everything we're gonna need him to do. $234,000. But we got a good all around tractor right now. Let's take a look at that. Lady, stay still. You alright? Whatever. So, this is going to be our back and forth tractor here, so let's go get that um, over there so we can at least transport back and forth. Go scope out our area, what we want to do with it. Maybe place down some buildings for us to use, like a house. Apparently the radio's on. So, I thought about building the farm really like right here and then building the fields out this way but I think that might make the most sense just because of that and then we could build the city later you know kind of around our farm I want to leave some space for it or we could build our farm out this way this is a nice flat area over here. Let's just go scope it out. Yeah, it's pretty flat. Hell's there wherever the trees are, but it's mostly flat here. With the exception of the hills. So this could be a good, nice area to start, too. So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll build this area out to be our home. So I'd like to put our houses against the woods here. So let's take a look at our buildings. Let's go down to construction. So this is the area we're working with. This is all relatively flat, so we'll leave this all open for field work. And then we'll use this open for the city or town that we end up slowly building. Even over here, kind of the same idea. But right now, this will be our main area, so let's go ahead and put down farmhouse. We're new, so we're not about to put down like a full-on house like this guy. We're, we're a brand new place. We we have very simple house situation. A very, really simple house. Um, there's the no man's land shack. Log cabin, trailer home. I mean, it would make sense, right, that, you know, we moved in with a trailer because we just you know, kind of rolled up on this big open area. So I think that's what we're going to do. This one's 5,000 and this one is 20,000. So naturally we're going to go with the cheaper one. And uh, we're going to place it right up against in the corner here. 
this right here looks like it's the corner of our property so let's go ahead and place it mm. that okay and then I don't know that we're gonna need silos just yet because we probably aren't gonna be able to harvest much so we'll do that as we decide what we're gonna do but we're probably going to want some basic things. Do we need water? Probably. It's a multi-fruit buying station. Um, we already have that by the area, so water doesn't hurt to have. You know, come on, it's simple. Simple things that we could use. Alright, basic basic stuff. No need for silos. Sheds would be nice. Whoa, that's too big. Too big of a shed. Yeah, way too big. Why are they snapping like that? Jeez. We're a brand new farm. We're not going to have a nice shed. That's too nice of a shed, too. And this one generates me money, so we don't want a big fancy one like that. sure how this one works, but nope, not that one. This one's tempting. It's nicer. It's okay. You can go with this old dilapidated looking one, but that's not my favorite. These are really simple little ones. That's too big. That's way too big. These ones might be the ones we end up going with because they're kind of fun looking. Might even go with one of these dilapidated looking ones here. Really simple shed. That was not bad either. Before we actually go putting down too much of the houses and stuff, because there's the no man's land one. There's another one we could end up using. We're gonna build a little pathway first. So pretty sure this is the road. Yep, that's the road one. So we're going to make the brush a little bit bigger. And then we're going to build a road that gets us to our place. And I want it to be a little bit organic, so we're going to build it so that it's... I said organic, but just kind of eyeballing it. Look at that. I just did it perfectly. Straight little road. cleared area here for a barn area so we'll go ahead and clear I really give myself much space for it so we're gonna have to go and clear this area at some point with some trees because all I did was just paint over it but yeah maybe we'll just um, paint this area here first because this is gonna be the area we're gonna put our, our barn and there's no point in us building the barn which Barn we're gonna go with is do that one for our that'll be for our tiny little tractor thing. That's pretty cool. And then this one for our other stuff, so we'll have to clear the trees out of the way. This one's not bad, but I think it's a little too big. And these are just a little too small. wide one. So I think this one might be the best bet because it kind of does a little bit more for us. So let's get over there. Clear these trees out that I've now managed to paint. I don't know why I use that paint too by the way. I might quickly fix that. painting. We're going to go ahead and use the brown brush. Make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. There's no reason for it to be. Well, we're done. Alright. 
and we are going to get ourselves a chainsaw, because we're going to need that. A chainsaw is good. And let's go ahead and clear out a few trees. Trees down. I don't need a bunch of trees to come down, I just need the basic stuff to come down. Two little ones for now. I don't really want to do too much logging in this game. That's why I chose um, the middle farmer road here because I want to be able to just kind of like get started and start building. Leave a few of these, cut down these really tiny ones. Don't need to cut them all down, just want to cut the ones that are particularly in the way of us building, potentially. Push that tree over. go so we can just trim these trees up real quick okay almost done a couple more trees left to trim up So we already cut down some trees, and we're probably going to want like a little bit of a utility trailer, so we've already cut that tree up. I didn't realize I did that probably when I was walking over top the other one, but that's okay. Not a huge deal, because we we're not trying to make money from these. We might even take these and leave them. Because, you know, we've got a new house. We might need uh, some way to stay warm, I'm sure. So we'll do that. Cut down this last tree. What? Did the whole tree just disappear? That's weird. Alright, whatever. Well, the stump is no longer there, that's weird. for now. Just for right now. And we might have to. Well, I don't think we have to. And then we're going to go ahead and build our shed that we wanted. Oh, that's not that one. No, not that one. No, not that one. Oh, I kind of like these. Maybe. This one's a long one. No, I don't like that one. This one's better. But I don't like how many poles there are. I'll be able to fit everything in there. This one's probably the one we're going to go with. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that might be what we go with, because... This one's just a little too small. So yeah, we might go with that one. Because I'm looking at it going like, oh, this one stinks, it's not deep enough. But you know, this is perfect. Cover up some things. It's not in the way of any trees or anything. And then we could do something with the space. Who knows, maybe we could put a small silo here. You know, like a really small one. Something that we could... See, that's too fancy of a silo. Look at this is a hayloft with a place to. It's kind of cool, but no. Maybe a small. It's a manure heap. Bunker silo, small. See, that's almost too large. Medium, not too large. Too large. Uh, I don't 
here for that one. I, I just don't like the layering of this, but that's okay. Another silo, multi-fruit silo, no thanks. Manure pit. We're not going to use that. Another hay loft. It's not bad, but we don't really store hay. This is the one that they gave us. I kind of like how dilapidated it looks. Ah, here we go. Chaff grass. This is going to be a really small one. Medium. Because we have a lot of field to cut, so this might be something we, we go ahead and get started with. So that's probably what we'll do. Right there. Cool. So there we are. We have our basics here. We're going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to slide this back in. And that's, that's the starting of the farm today. We're probably going to start with some field cutting. So let's get the equipment we need to start cutting the fields. And then from there, we will expand our farm. But for now, for the rest of this episode, let's go and get what we need to start cutting some lawns. Because that's important. We need to find our mower technology. Where are you? Mowers. Ooh, you a big mower. You a big mower too. Sorry if you hear my nephews yelling in the background. Can we go with this one? I think this is just like a decent... I can't rotate the camera apparently. Alright, whatever. So this might be what we go with. And I think we might keep the mower, so we're going to go ahead and buy it. Make sure it fits on our mower. Tractor. I didn't even then look at to see if it's big enough for us. Like our tractor is big enough, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is a pretty big tractor setup we got ourselves started with. All right. Well, it looks like my controls have frozen up on me. So everybody, this might be where we stop the episode until we figure out what's going on. Um, who knows? Well, I'm going to get this figured out and figure out what's going on. Maybe have to eliminate a few uh, mods to figure out how this is happening. All right, so I fixed that issue. Um, I said I was going to end the episode. Uh, maybe I don't know what's going to go on here, but I said I was going to end the episode. And you know what? I changed my mind. So, But yeah, there we go. We fixed the issue. I don't know what's going on. Wow, look at that. The things are blowing in the wind. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That's really cool. Not exactly realistic, but pretty cool. Oh, wow. I paved the road, but I didn't get rid of the trees. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and just start mowing up these fields. Um, and then we have to go get some sort of trailer to collect this stuff. So, I'd like to just do the area directly in front of our house first. And then we will plow that area right after we're done cutting it. Because we might as well take advantage of the silage situation. So we'll go ahead and get this unfolded. You know what mod I'm looking forward to is the one that when you mow, it cuts down the bushes too. That's the one I'm excited for, the mower mod. Okay, lower the mower, start her up. Can I hire a worker? I didn't think so. Lower the mod and just get started. Cool. It acts like two mowers in the back, but that's, that's pretty dope. Uh, we could get a wind rower, but I don't think we're going to bother. We'll go until the field reaches our end. And it tells us we don't cut anymore. Cool. We'll go cut the next one. Now, I have GPS installed on this, and I've never used it before. Control steering mode, all wheel steering. Now, yeah, that's already part of the mower itself. So that's fine. Let's 
There's got to be a way to use GPS, and I just haven't looked it up. So, well, you probably use GPS for when we... Uh, well, this would be the time to use GPS, but honestly, it's fine. I'll have to figure that out off-camera, and we will... figure that out so let's just get this cut for now there's no use showing you guys this whole thing we'll put this on a time lapse if it's something I can do and uh, we'll rejoin you when we finish Well, so, welcome back everyone. I figured this is a good place to stop. As you saw that I switched sides with the mowers, because now I'm realizing what I could be doing is running a wind rower at the same time when I cut my other fields. So, I'm not going to cut another field just yet. I want to see what we can get off of this field, but I might go get a wind rower. What are you doing? No, 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 no don't, don't unfold. I might go get a wind rower now and do this. Um, I thought about getting bales and doing silage that way, but then what was the point of me? Oh, it won't lay down flat. Oh, that's weird. Alright, well then, this is going to be a little pain in my butt. Uh, I thought, I was like, oh, I should do bales because I love doing bales, and bale mowers are great because you can or bale machines are great because you can, you know, change things up a little bit and use them for multiple things, but... That's all right. I made the mistake of not doing that, so we're gonna leave that here. So we're gonna get a wind rower situation, and we're gonna get a forge uh, wagon, because that's what we did. So I'm gonna cut it here, and we'll join you back at the shop. All right, everyone, we're back, and as you can see, I went and bought this guy. As we talked earlier, it's on sale, so I just went and bought it now. I don't want to lose out on the sale, so we'll just at least take advantage of that. But we came here for a wind rower, so that's what we're going to look for. So let's get that first. Because we want to put that all in a row. And I'm okay with going a little big on the size of the wind rowers here, because it makes life a little bit easier. It was nice and big. It doesn't have to be huge. This one's decent size and it's not too expensive. That'll do the job. I don't know that we're going to need to buy this, but you know, it's so cheap, we're just going to. And what we're also going to need is a machine to pick it up. So we are going to get ourselves a wagon. Forge wagon, where are you? Forge wagon. And we have several options when it comes to our uh, forge wagons here. Uh, too many. I want a decent sized one, but nothing too huge. Like, I don't need something this big. And this one's too small. It's only 16 and a half. And I want something that has the ability to do silage additive, which I believe this one does, and this one does too. So. Either of these is just the larger of the two, but only by three square of cubic meters. So we're going to go with this guy. Do the silage additive. BKTs, we'll just get those. And we'll buy that. And while we're here, we'll also buy the silage additive. So that should be in pallets. And we'll buy a stack of that. So. 
get our tether first, or tether, our wind rower. Bring that down there. And we'll get started on that. I'll meet you guys down there, uh, and um, I'll do a time lapse of us doing this. See you later. Alright everybody, and welcome back. That's finishing up the windrow, and as you can tell, I'm terrible at parking. But windrow is done, and now we can go get our forage machine here and pick this up. And I think that may be where we end the episode, because uh, I'll pick it up and I'll put it into the silage um, thing, and see how that goes, the silage bunker, and see where... See, that will be the end of the episode, because we'll probably not cut another field today we'll probably do that after because we don't even know how much that bunker silo will fit um, and if that bunker silo doesn't fit at all then what we'll probably end up having to do is just um, selling off that grass and then maybe the next field we do hay and if the next field we do hay we might actually store that because if we ever do animals we may want that uh, grass we could potentially store too so any extra store if we end up not being able to fit some inside that's probably what we'll end up doing. Is we'll, we'll probably end up doing that. Um, so we'll see what how much we could fit into our silage bunko, bunko, bunker. Um, and then whatever we don't fit into the silage bunker, we will scoop back up and build something and store it. And that'll probably be the end of the episode from there. So I'm going to go ahead and do another time lapse here. And we'll check in one last second right after that. And we'll continue. Uh, we'll do an update then. All right, everybody, and time lapse time. Right, so we're coming back in here to tell you that we forgot the silage additive. So uh, we're gonna do that. Um, you guys probably all noticed that right away that I bought the silage additive, didn't use it. So we got a load without silage additive. Oh well, it is what it is. The first load we'll have without it, and the second load we will. Now I've never done this with this kind of bunker silo before, so we will see what happens. Control I? No, it should be letting me. 
I'm out here on my own. Okay, it is not doing what I wanted it to do. So it is accepting it. All right. So we'll see how that goes. We'll just start unloading it. Now does it say it's full? See, it's full. Um, let's just try to compact it a bit. Cause that's a, that's looking pretty full already. One load. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm trying to do this with the trailer. Let's go ahead and just quickly detach the trailer. We'll park this in a second. Let's go try to compact it with this guy. Stuck. Might have to go get a silage compaction machine. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Well, everybody, we're gonna stop it here, um, and we'll come back in the next episode when everything has been organized here. We're going to figure out how to make this work because if I can't make it all fit in there, we might just have to store it somehow. Or just go sell it. One or the other. But I don't need to sell it right now. I'd like to store it for when we need it for a sale because uh, I do want to continue to update this um, farm with more stuff. And maybe we should go with a bigger bunker silo. And since I've already started using this one, I'd rather not go crazy with it. So... See what happens, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been great. This is Chuck Thunder. Another episode here of FS22, No Man's Land. And hopefully you guys like the series and you give up with some ideas. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave comments in the description about what you want to see built here, what you want to see me do, and um, what you want to see uh, what other people, you know, make some suggestions. Maybe we'll build this town and make some uh, subscriber-owned businesses. All right, everyone? It's been great. It's Chuck Thunder. Take it easy.